I know we can all use a little extra money right now. So today I'm going to give you three ways that anybody can make some quick cash online in their spare time. These are real opportunities. I'm going to show you the receipts today, but also how you can make the most money possible and be successful with these type of online opportunities. Hey everybody, it's Robin with Creativity RV. And like I said, today's video is all about making quick cash. Now I know a lot of us can use some extra money right now, whether you know we need it to buy groceries or get gas or pay for the holidays, or we have an unexpected bill. These are the kind of jobs online that you can do to make some extra cash to help pay for those things or pay something off or save for something you wanna do in the future. Now, as you might know, I am the author of the book, Work From Home While You Roam, The Ultimate Guide to Jobs That Can Be Done From Anywhere, which has a ton of opportunities in a bunch of different categories from you know professionals and technology people to artists and writers and mystery shoppers and seasonal workers and people that wanna do side hustles or just make some quick cash. There are over 300 opportunities in the book with links to apply and other information like financial considerations on how not to get scammed. But the three things I'm going to tell you about today are brand new in the book. And they're in a new chapter called Ways to Make Quick Cash, which has over 40 opportunities in it. Now, I'm going to go through them in just a minute and give you the best practices. But for anybody that already has the book, of course, as always, you get every update for free. Just go into Amazon, go into device management, look for updates and tell it to update the book. And then you should see a new cover with a, a yellow bar at the top that looks like this. And then you'll have all of this information. Now I've been really fortunate because I've gotten a lot of emails from people telling me what has worked for them out of the book. And one of these emails was from a lady I got a few months ago that told me she was making about $2,000 a month just in side hustles on top of her regular job in her spare time and wanted to say thank you. Well, I ended up hiring that lady to test some of the opportunities that are in the book now, including the three that I'm going to tell you about today. And she has really been rocking these. Right now she's making close to $3,000 a month doing these gigs and some other ones that are in the book. And today I'm going to give you her best practices for how to make these three opportunities really work for you. Now I'm going to get into the details here in just a minute, but first let me give you a couple of quick disclaimers. First of all, when I say that this video is for quick cash, I don't mean we're reaching into our couch cushions here and pulling out 20 bucks. If we could reach out into the internet and just pull out 20 bucks as much as we wanted to, then that's all we'd all be doing. These are opportunities where you can do some quick work online without a big commitment and get paid. Some of them pay in one day and some of them pay in three weeks. But the good thing is when you find 20 bucks in your couch, that's the last time you're gonna find that 20 bucks. These you can go back to over and over again and keep making money. The second thing I wanna say is that these are all legit opportunities where you can really make money. There's going to be people, I'm sure, in the comments that say, oh, I tried that one thing and I applied one time and I didn't get chosen and it's all a scam. Not true. These are real opportunities where real people get paid. But I'll go through in a minute how they're choosing people for these opportunities. There are best practices, but just know if you want a gig that's on one of these platforms and you don't get it don't be discouraged you just have to fish and i'm going to go through that in just a minute you have to take some time to put your lines out to get as many opportunities as possible they're out there and i have people that are making quite a bit of money doing nothing but this type of opportunity and i'll tell you about that in a second and also people are going to say oh god that's not worth my time if i'm only making two bucks or six bucks or ten bucks not true i know people using resources in the book, these opportunities and some other ones that might be making 75 cents an opportunity, but literally they're sitting at work, something beeps, they go boop, boop, and make their 75 cents with that one company. And over the course of the day, they've made 40 bucks. You have to know that these things all add up. Let me show you a couple of screenshots from people that have actually used these resources from my book. And you can see they're not making a lot of money. Nobody's getting rich here, but doing some stuff in their spare time, they're making, you know, 15 bucks, 80 bucks, seven bucks. And when you see these screenshots, by the way, and you see little tiny things whited out, it's just so I can protect people's identity. But you have to know 
that these things add up. Some of my testers I know are making 30, 40, 50 grand in their spare time on top of their regular jobs. They really work it. And you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. So I'll tell you how to get the most out of it today. And what you do with it is up to you. The first opportunity I'm going to tell you about is called IntelliZoom Panel, which helps businesses make better websites and applications by having them tested by real people just like you. So with this type of a gig, all you have to do is be yourself. Be a real person and give your real opinions on these websites and these applications. It's that easy. They're going to ask you a bunch of demographic information. Now, this is the same with all these types of companies. It is crucial that you do not half-ass this step. Really fill out all the information that they ask you for. So if you're a pet lover, you like hiking, you used to be a nurse, whatever it is, put that in there if they ask you because that's how they choose people that they want for these different tests. Now, I've had people in past videos say that it's age discrimination if one test is only looking for people, let's like, say 18 to 35. If you're 60, you may be put out by that. That's not age discrimination. These companies need people in the demographic that's going to be using their product to test their product. There's going to be other tests that are for you and not for them. So don't worry about it. Just keep looking. There's lots and lots of opportunity out there for everybody. Now, my tester made about $900 so far this year with IntelliZoom. Now, that's not a lot compared to some of the other money she's making. But we wanted to tell you about IntelliZoom before some of the other opportunities in the book because it's a good starter for people that want to do user testing. Because with user testing, they really want you to be dynamic and give your feedback and give your opinions. And with IntelliZoom, you can do that and get paid and get really good at it before you go to some of the other platforms where you only get one chance. And if you don't know what you're doing, you won't be able to make the big money from those platforms. So with IntelliZoom, what you're going to do a lot of the time is you're going to be going through an app or a website and just scrolling around and giving your opinion while you're recording your voice sometimes or the screen sometimes. There are three different categories that they have tests in. The first one is for the actual website testing that pays about eight bucks for maybe 10 or 15 minutes of your time. So let's say that they want you to check out a new bank app. You may go into that app on your phone if you're approved for the test and you go around and you say, okay, well, I wanted this link to be over there and I like the way this looks, but I can't find this information. Bam, that's it, you're done. In just a few minutes, you made eight bucks. The next one is card sorting, which pays about five bucks. Let's use the bank app as an example again. Let's say you go into a banking app and they have a bunch of links on the side. You can tell them what order you think those links should go in. Like, should the location of the ATM be right next to the link for loans? Probably not. That's the kind of feedback that they want. And the final one is just a quick survey. They usually take about five minutes and they pay two bucks just to give your opinion. Now, with this opportunity and a lot of others, you're going to want to have a PayPal account and, in my opinion, a dedicated email address for all of these opportunities. Here's why. Almost all of these online gigs pay through PayPal. Really easy to set up if you don't already have an account. And a lot of them notify you through email. Do not have this mixed up with your personal email. It will make you rip your hair out, in my opinion. If you want to do these kind of side hustles, have a dedicated email just for these types of jobs. Here are a few best practices to make the most out of IntelliZoom. First of all, there is no place inside of the IntelliZoom app or on their platform that gives you a list of the tests that you've done and the payouts. So we recommend that you have your own spreadsheet so you can track it. Maybe someday they'll change that. But for right now, it's hard to go back and see what you've done. So keep track yourself. And also, be sure to read the FAQ for IntelliZoom before you start to get through any pitfalls because you might do a test and be like, it was rejected. Why was it rejected? Well, you'll know that if you read their FAQ so that you know you're doing the right thing right out of the gate. The next thing is that IntelliZoom actually notifies you of new opportunities through email, not an app or a push notification. So a couple times a day, you're going to want to go in and check your email. A lot of my testers have signed up for many of these types of opportunities, 
And every morning they go in and check to see if there's a new test or a new opportunity, or they might do it multiple times a day. Um, I do know of one person that just started doing this last week and has already made like $400, even though she's brand new um, because she works it every single morning. And the last thing is with any of these, if they're recording you, they're recording your screen or your voice, have an opinion, be dynamic. When they get the results back from their testers and they're, they're going to the website designers, they need to actually know what you were thinking. And the only way that can happen is if you talk, talk, talk. The next thing I want to tell you about, I think is pretty fun. It's a platform called Prolific, which matches researchers with research participants. Usually they have kind of a psychological bent, but again, this is one of those quick online opportunities where they just want to get your opinion on something. Like my testers have done quick tests on things like, have you ever had a bad coworker? Or they'll show you some pictures and say, what's good, what's bad, rank these things. It's super easy and anybody can participate because again, for these types of studies, they're looking for real people from all walks of life and that means you. Now here's a screenshot of what my tester has actually earned just with Prolific this year. You'll see that it's in pounds because Prolific does pay in pounds. They're based in the UK, but of course that goes into PayPal, no big deal. You withdraw the money in US dollars. Now I have blurred out a couple of things again because I want her identity to stay anonymous, but you can see how much she's earned this year, how many studies she had to do to make that money. And basically she was approved for about 70% of the studies that she applied for. And she made this year so far six grand. Now you won't get accepted for every study with prolific or any other platform. You have to actually fish. So what you want to do is you want to check your emails. You want to turn on your push notifications. There's one for prolific actually on Google Chrome that will beep if a new research test is available. So you can just run over and apply for it really quick. My tester calls this phishing. She spends about 15% of all of her time doing side hustles, just applying for them, applying for ones that she may not get. But you have to do this if you want to make regular money with some of these gigs. If you want to give Prolific a try, here are some best practices to make it work for you. First of all, again, be sure to take the 10 minutes to go through the FAQ to make sure that you're actually giving them what they want so that you'll be approved and get paid for these studies. The next thing is have your driver's license ready because when you are approved for Prolific, you have to take a picture of yourself next to your driver's license so they know that you are a real person and not a bot. It's not for anything else. You are anonymous as a participant of the research study itself. The next thing is when you're doing a study through Prolific, don't go too fast. They're going to tell you how much time it takes on average for people to finish a test. Take that amount of time because they really want to know that you're reading the study and actually thinking about it before you're replying. And they're going to have little checks along the way to make sure that you're still paying attention. You have to do that in order to get paid at the end. So just be mindful of that. And finally, if you go over to Prolific right now and apply to be a new tester, you're going to see a big fat screen that says you have to join a waiting list. Don't worry. There are new tests. Join the waiting list. Fill out the information. It says if you do a deeper dive into their website, which we have in the listing in the book, that they want to make sure their regular testers have the amount of work that they want, which is pretty cool, actually. So. They're going to get a first crack at it. Then they're going to give you the crack at it. And then once you do a few, you're going to be one of the existing testers and you're going to get dibs and they'll choose you because you do a good job. The third opportunity I want to tell you about today is called Dscout. And this one can be a moneymaker. Basically, Dscout is another market research app where you can do most of the gigs on your phone in your spare time. There are some that you can do on a laptop, but they'll tell you that right in the beginning. To do Dscout, you really have to be comfortable talking into your phone's camera. And they want people that are going to be dynamic, just like the other ones. The good thing about Dscout is that some of their opportunities pay quite a bit for just a little amount of time. Now, my tester has made well over $4,000 this year. Again, I've blurred a couple little things out so that we keep her identity hidden. Now, the missions that you do with Dscout pay different amounts. You can see here some screenshots from my tester that she's done some that are $5 and some that were up to $250. 
they require a different time commitment. And when you apply to do the actual mission itself, they're going to tell you exactly what it entails. So here's what the D Scout screen on the app might look like. You can see that there are some express missions. These usually pay about two bucks or five bucks, but they also have longer missions. And here is an example of one and an example of what they tell you about the mission. They tell you how much it pays, what the time commitment is, and how many people they need to participate. Now, when you go fishing for new missions inside of D Scout, it's a little bit different than it is with the other platforms. You might see that there's some new mission available that you want to apply for. Recently, my tester did one that paid 250 bucks, and it was all about cheese. To apply for the mission, they wanted her to take a picture of the cheese that was in her house and then videotape herself and say, this is the reason I love cheese. This is how I like to cook with cheese, right? Then she was accepted for this long mission based on that little test. And that mission lasted a month and they just had her keep a diary of what she liked to do with cheese and it paid 250 bucks. So again, the first thing is you want to check the app to see if there's new missions. Then you want to put your line out and fish for that new mission by doing a little tester which is usually you recording yourself on a screen. And then for the longer, higher paying missions, you'll get an invitation to participate, which might mean that you're recording your screen, you're keeping a diary, or for the biggest pain ones, you might actually be talking to a researcher on Zoom. Now here are some best practices to be successful with DScout and get to some of those higher paying missions. You want to make sure that you're recording yourself well. So have the phone at a good angle. You don't want to be looking up your nose. Make sure that you have good lighting, that they can hear you, and the phone's not shaky, and there's not a lot of background noise. And again, be really dynamic. Have an opinion. And don't worry, because you can always erase a recording and then re-record it before you submit it to DScout. I hope that these three opportunities have given you guys an idea what's out there. There are literally dozens and dozens of these types of opportunities in the book and hundreds overall. So if you're looking for, you know, a side hustle or a way to make extra money, or you just want to work remotely, know that things have really changed and the opportunities out there abound. If you want to check out the book to see more of these types of opportunities, please do. It's on Amazon. The link is below. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, I hope you're all doing well out there. Everybody have happy travels and be free.